Hello students, welcome back to Chemistry is easy for you. Today we are going to begin an entirely different topic which is the JAM previous year questions. We will be discussing all the previous year questions of JAM by your examination. Today we will be beginning and before I start let me tell you I will not follow the order of uh, order or the particular year as such but I will be taking a mixture of questions but I assure you that by your exam of JAM 2020 we will be covering all your previous questions everything okay so let's begin without wasting much time the first question is from organic itself the rates of acetolysis of the following norboril derivatives are in the order so i have discussed this question in one of the preset paper previously what is this here what what actually happens in this acetolysis this ots will be removed and the second the group will be coming and attaching to that position so this follows that the particular process called the anchimeric assistance. Anchimeric assistance or the neighboring group participation. Here what is the neighboring group? The double bond can act as a neighboring group and enhance this acetolysis. And there are two different P and this is R. Both P and R are having a neighboring group that is double bonds are present and they can both help in uh, undergoing this particular reaction but whenever the leaving group is in the opposite that is anti anti to the participating group let me uh, leaving group i will not take leaving group as lg and participating group as pg or the participating or the anchimeric assistance group as pg so whenever the leaving group is anti to the uh, the participating group the rate will be enhanced so here r will be having the highest rate followed by p why because there is anchimeric assistance here or the neighboring group participation enhances the rate of the reaction but uh, not up to this much because the group is on the same side as that of the double bond therefore this happens like that finally here there is no uh, enhanced rate because of no neighboring part no neighboring group participation or no other factors affecting this particular common so the order will be R greater than P greater than Q. Now we will go to the next question. Now here we have the second question. Molecular shape of SOCl2. I have already discussed the method, the shortcut to find the shape and hybridization. I will be linking the video below in the description box. Please do watch it before doing this question. So according to that video what I have told you. Total number of electrons in sulfur would be 6. And 2, 2 will be given to oxygen, 1 will be given to chlorine, another 1 will be given again to another chlorine and remaining would be 2 electrons. So what are the number of bond pairs and lone pairs? As I have said, if there are double bond, only one bond will be calculated as the bond pair. Only the sigma bond will be calculated as the bond pair. So what is the number of bond pairs here? Here, 1, 2, 3. 3 bond pair plus one lone pair which is the shape is trigonal pyramidal option b would be the right answer again how to do it sulfur would be the sulfur would be giving two electrons to uh, oxygen one electron to chlorine one electron to the second chlorine but we will be taking only one one bond pair with uh, oxygen because sigma bond only will be counted then chlorine and uh, with chlorine one each so three bond pair and remaining out of the six there are two which is one lone pair. According to the chart that we or the shortcut, three bond pair plus one bond lone pair is pyramidal shape. So that's the answer, option B. Now we have the third question. Here the question is, the compound formed by dissolving elemental gold in aqua regia. So the name of that particular, particular compound is chlorooric acid. Chlorooric acid. And option C is the Right answer. Reaction forming this chlorooric acid is given below in marked in red color, which is Au plus HNO3 plus 4 HCl gives HAUCl4, which is the chlorooric acid, along with NO and 2 H2O. Hope you understood. We have our fourth question. The fourth question here is the enthalpy of vaporization is zero at which of the following temperatures. So different temperatures are given. Each of these are having different features and also meanings 
So the answer of this question would be option B. Because critical temperature is a temperature above which there won't be or above the critical temperature there is no liquid and vapor phase. There won't be liquid and vapor phase excess existing. So therefore the enthalpy of vaporization would be zero at critical temperature. Keep that in mind. Above the critical temperature there won't be liquid and vapor phase. Liquid and vapor phase does not exist. That is a very simple question, the fourth question. Now we will go to the fifth question. I don't know how many of you are aware of the boring part in your BSE level. If you are not very aware, let me explain it in brief. That is, there can be different, we can classify the boranes into different types. Close or nido, arachno and so on. Some more classifications are there. I have already done a video on this. That also I will be link, linking in the description box below. So, when a borane is in the form BN, HN plus 2. That is, if the number of hydrogen is 2 greater than the number of boron, then it is close. So, if it is 4 greater than number of boron, it is nido. And if it is 6 greater than number of boron, it would be arachno. So, let's see what how much is the... Here, B2H6. B2H6 means... It is uh, B, so B2 H6 means it would be B2 H2 plus 4, which is of the form B N H N plus 4. Therefore, it is nido. Then B4 H10 can be written as B4 H4 plus 6. Therefore, it is of the form B N H N plus 6. So, the answer would be option A, nido and arachnoborates. Very simple question. Now, we will go to the sixth question. Sixth question here, we are asked to find the X in the following reaction. So what happens in these kinds of nuclear chemistry questions? I have already told, whenever you are given a reaction and asked to complete what is formed in the other side, you have to count the, num the sum of atomic as well as the mass number because it will be always conserved. The total, the sum will be equal on LHS as well as the RHS. So here we are having MLCM 241.95. And alpha particle. So what is the mass of alpha particle? It will be 4. And the atomic number is 2. Because it is equal to helium. Here we, can, we are formed BK243 and 97 is formed. As well as we have X. Now let's calculate the total. So 241 plus 4. We have 245. 95 plus 2 we are having 97. This is the sum of mass and atomic number in the LHS. Now let's calculate about RHS. 243 and 97 is there. So, we don't want any mass for the, sorry, the atomic, any atomic number for the uh, X, the species X. We only need mass number which should be equal to 2. So, out of these options, there are the chances of two options which can give the mass equal to 2. Either A or C. But C will not be the answer. Why? Because in C, there is already one atomic number as well. But we don't want any, uh, we don't want our species X to have an atomic number. It should be a neutron. So the answer would be option A. Let me explain it again. So whenever you have these kinds of questions, calculate the sum of mass number as well as the atomic number in both LHS and RHS. Now in order to balance, you have to uh, correspondingly understand what should be the mass of uh, the missing species in the RHS or whatever. If it is in the LHS, same, similar thing. So, here we have to find the missing species in the RHS. Now, we have calculated 245 should be the mass number of, uh, the total mass number in the RHS. So, already 243 is present. We should have two more. And also, the atomic number sum should be 97. We already got 97. There should no longer be an atomic number for the species X. So, the only possible answer with all these conditions is option A, which is 2 neutrons. That's our answer. Now, we will go to the 7th question. We have another set of questions here. The most viscous liquid is, here we are given water, methanol, ethylene glycol and glycerol. And we have to find the most viscous liquid. So, here, what is the thing that we have to keep in mind? The thing that we have to keep in mind is the viscosity is measured in terms of the hydrogen bond. Hydrogen bond and with the number of OH. So here the compound which is having maximum number of OH group will definitely be the most viscous liquid because 
more hydrogen bond will be formed and thereby the viscosity will be increasing. So here option D, glycerol is having the most number of OH bond. We have one OH, then we have another OH and finally we have one OH here. This is the structure of glycerol and therefore glycerol itself would be the most viscous liquid. Now the next question here, what is the, which of the oxide has inverse spinal structure? So the inverse spinal structure we have already discussed in our solid state uh, class with that about the inverse spinal structure. In case of an inverse spinal structure, the metal will be present as or the ions will be present as there will be uh, Fe. This will be present. The answer would be option D because Fe CO2 and Fe3 O4 that is in inverse spinal the occupation occupying of the tetrahedral and the octahedral holes will be different from that of the spinal structure since i have already taken the class on spinal and inverse spinal structure i'm not going to repeat it instead i would ask you to see the solid state part i have discussed all the important portions for jam from solid state chemistry in that particular video if you watch that you can understand as we go on uh, it will be easier for you to attend the previous question if you have already seen the classes. Please do that. Okay. Now the ninth question. In these kinds of questions, the metallurgy, S block, P block, etc. The best possible way to learn these chapters would, would be to practice as many questions as possible. So here one such question is given. The metal that is extracted by the reduction method is it's aluminium. So whenever this uh, is coming, please keep that in mind. If you are given aluminium, and again, the same options are coming. You can expect repeated questions. Because every time they may not ask the uh, new questions. In certain cases, you can ask repeated questions also. Especially from metallurgy and all, they will be asking repeated questions. So, the metal is extracted by reduction method is aluminum out of this. Then, finally, we have benzene and diva, diva benzene are given. The structure is also given and we have to find what is the relationship between benzene and diva benzene. Are they canonical form structural isomers, conformation isomers or tautomers? Keep this in mind. They are canonical forms. Not just benzene and diva benzene. We have many more, uh, many more uh, canonical forms. We can discuss that in one full video in the coming days. Uh, right now, please keep it in mind. Benzene and diva benzene are canonical forms. So that's all for today. We'll be continuing with the jam previous year's question and I'm trying to sort these out according to the topics that is all the question previous questions from coordination chemistry all the previous questions from uh, S block P block like that I'm trying to sort these out as soon as that is over I'll be taking uh, doing the revision of previous questions in that manner according to the topics till then please note down all the points that we have discussed today just uh, make short notes on what what led to the answer or the key point behind the answer that you should write down because by the end of uh, these sessions that is all the question paper uh, near to your exam those short notes will be uh, helpful for you if you have not yet started preparing for jam that's all thank you so much for watching we'll be continuing with all the other series and uh, more classes also will be following soon Thank you so much for watching. Hit the bell icon for uh, latest notification. Those who have already subscribed and others, please subscribe our channel. Share it with all your friends. Thank you so much.